much like last year, we're going to finish with rapid fire. Mid-season trading, yes or no? Uh, maybe. It had to be yes or no, didn't it? <laughs> no. No? Well, less likely. You've changed your mind. I'm asking what's going to happen, not what I think. <laughs> Who's safer, an AFL coach in 2019 or lower limbs at Optus Stadium? Yeah. Um, tough one. What's cost you the most amount of sleep? Sinking venues, AFL X or bald headed flogs? Sinking venues. Nick Kyrgios, good or bad for tennis? In the end can be good. Nat Fife or Shannon Hearn? I think the selector's got it right. Would you buy stocks in Teague's training wheels or Ross Lyons' barramundi bowls? Uh, Ross is a star um, and we hope Teague will be as well. Which fairy tale? Luke Hodge wins flag number five, completing the Brisbane fairy tale, or Brett Deledio makes it back and wins a first flag for GWS? This is hard. You can't choose amongst children. I think they're both amazing stories if they get there. What would your main event be on a boxing charity card? Waitley against Ross Lyon? <laughs> yeah. Or Kane Corns against Tex Walker? I just like to see Jared in a, in a pair of trunks. <laughs> the good bloke title? Jared Ruffett or Dale Morris? Uh, Ty. Oh, I reckon Dale's got him on that and I love Jared. I but... can't say that, you know that. Finally, Doomsday. Yeah. What would upset you most? You announced the wrong name at the Brownlow or your brother Hamish completely butchers the interview? Uh, I'll take care of my responsibility, so I've got to get the name right, otherwise it's a real problem. He can, uh, he can deal with his own end, so definitely get the name wrong. Gil, thanks for your time. Thanks, Neroling.